Milano is today's Italy, and no Italian trip is complete without visiting this city. When I cross the border and people ask me what's my occupation, I say teacher. And for 20 years I was a tour guide, and I still fancy myself as a tour guide. Uh, and I'm just taking a lot more people than ever traveling vicariously through public television. Since 1990, we've produced a new series every two years. So that's an average of 13 shows every two years. There's, there are these three phases. There's, there's pre-production, field production, and post-production. And uh, the pre-production, we uh, can get extended over a few months, you know, making all the arrangements, uh, uh, getting all the permissions, making all the contacts. It's a tiny team. It's basically Rick, uh, a shooter like Carl, and, and myself in the field. Some people would say, well, shouldn't you have a sound man? Well, the cameraman wears the sound man's hat. Uh, what about your grip, the guy who carries all the gear? Well, Simon carries the gear, the producer, or the cameraman will carry it, or occasionally I'll carry it. Um, it is so important that we are able to turn on a dime. We're a small crew, we fit into one car. I really like that. We have really got a system down. I mean, we really travel extremely lightly. It's, it's about as bare bones, I think, as a as almost any television crew goes, and especially now that we're shooting in high definition, it's a stripped down production. We pack lightly, personally, we pack lightly professionally, but we try to be prepared for, you know, for most situations. I mean, part of the reason that we can produce this show in six days in the field is because it's super efficient production. The way this production works, right from the beginning all the way throughout the whole process is very, very collaborative. I mean, Rick has the vision, he knows the content, he knows the location and the show that he wants to produce, but then it's very much a team effort. To me, the exciting challenge from a creative point of view is the collaboration here. And over the last decade, I have, I have gained such an appreciation by the commitment of everybody on our crew to making this show as good as it can possibly be. I mean, it's reasonable that I would work really hard because my name's on it. But what endlessly impresses me is how uh, both Simon and Carl, or whoever's shooting this show, will work um, every bit as hard as me from beginning to end to make this show as good as it can possibly be. I wouldn't trade my TV crew for all of NBC, CBS, and ABC. We rock. It's highly collaborative, and I really appreciate that. It's both a pleasant experience to be part of a collaborative team where, where the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And also there's this very, I think, very fruitful creative tension that, that sustains us, and, and, uh, and that has to do with the fact that Rick comes from a guidebook perspective, and he tends to equate value with content. So in Rick's eyes, the more content that fits into the show, the more value the show has. To me, it's a responsibility to take airtime with the show. And I don't just want to give a bunch of what some producers call eye candy. I'm committed to the content. And from our perspective, part of the value of the show is in conveying the, the emotional impact of the places we travel to, which is reflected in having these beautiful images that aren't necessarily accompanied by a dialogue, but just music and the beauty of the place. Simon and the, and the cameraman are, pr are committed to the beautiful aspect of it and, the, and how viewable it is. I'm committed to the content. I want to put that script in a centrifuge and have it spin around and there'd still be a lot of content there when it's all done. As a producer, especially in the field, I'm sort of torn between these two needs because uh, Rick, on one hand, I mean, he has so much information. He's just a walking encyclopedia of knowledge of, of all these years in, in, in Europe. And, and, and then his love of, of history and his knowledge of, of art, and he just wants to just tell it all. If I got my way all the time on the script, the show would be a wonderful guidebook. But yes, yeah, certainly in terms of television, it's not a guidebook and we have, I like to sort of say, let the, let the images tell the story. I'm a history student. All my friends at my work uh, say I'm so into dead things, you know, I just love dead things. Uh, but we gotta, we gotta make Europe live, you know. I'm the tour guide and I really know travel. But these guys are the artists, and they know, the cameraman would know the art of composing the shots and uh, getting the very best photography. And of course, Simon knows how to take all of this and make it into good television. People just don't appreciate romanticism like they should.